stop. Pay attention. I'm going to give you a list of tasks one at a time. Simply follow my instructions, starting each new task as I say it. It doesn't matter if you complete the task. Just keep going until I tell you to start a new one. Got it? Here we go. Clap your hands. Count out loud to 10. Put your hands on your head. Cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Besides feeling a little silly right now, you probably had no problem following those directions. What was the third thing I asked you to do? Think back. Put your hands on your head. Aha, <laughs> remember now? In case you didn't get that right, we're gonna give you another chance and also see how well these people handle stress. It will be a different set of instructions, so you can play along again and try to remember the tasks in order. Ready, set, go. Count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, Act like a monkey. <laughs> Wave your hands above your head. Recite the alphabet. A, B, C. Snap your fingers. Howl like a wolf. Stamp your feet. Say the word brain three times fast. Brain, brain, brain. Amazing job, guys. One question for you. What was the fourth thing I asked you to do? Howl like a wolf? No. OK, you go first. Say brain, brain, brain three times. No. Not quite, but close. <laughs> your hands over your head. No, actually. What about you? Do you remember the fourth task? There were only eight to remember. So why do you think your brain is unable to recall the fourth one, even though we told you the second time to remember the tasks in order? It was actually recite the alphabet. <laughs> By giving you rapid fire instructions, we caused your brain to enter a stress state, releasing hormones that actually decrease your short-term memory. In fact, the chronic release of stress hormones can impair cells in the part of your brain designed for learning and memory. Your brain, in trying to keep you safe from harm, is actually harming you. 